Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the new sewing pattern releases for February. I'm sorry, there's some very funny light going on behind here. I don't know how to sort that out. Um, right, so, very exciting before we get onto this. Weather watch. We've got snow. This, anyone who lives in the UK, especially in London, will know that we never get snow in London and we have got snow this morning. We've woken up to a white, white world and it's very, very exciting for sad little people like me. Um, yeah, so I am snuggled up in loads and loads of knitwear because it is freezing. Right, so I am going to talk to you guys about the new sewing pattern releases for February. I've got two, four, so I've got six patterns to talk to you about. I have also done a blog post with all the rest of the, um, you know, all the rest of the patterns because it has been quite a busy month. It's not crazy, it's a bit of a shorter month, but there are some crackers in there. I think this month, having looked at everything that I've picked to talk to you guys about, is the month of the simple sew. So all of the patterns that I've got this month are actually pretty simple makes, which sometimes is quite nice to have a quick, easy make. Right, so the first pattern that I'm going to talk to you about, I've got my laptop here so I can remind myself, is the Nico Dress and Top from True Bias. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this because I've actually made it and I'm actually wearing it. So this is the pattern it's a very simple turtleneck um quite fitted and I'll just take off my jumper just for quickly to show you um yeah kind of really nice and fitted um it fitted me in terms of yeah fit and construction straight out the packet I didn't have to change the size or anything it was perfect for me um it comes with an option a dress option as well so you can make it which i think looks really nice as a sleeveless dress with slits up the side and obviously if you wanted to do it with sleeves you could totally do that too um it's a really it looks like a really i know i really liked it as a pattern the instructions are really nice really simple and i made this in probably half an hour i actually didn't even i just overlocked the whole thing so in terms of like a quick satisfying mate i was really pleased and i think i must have cut out the uk 12. um you do need um a jersey with a high well a sort of at least five percent elastane i think because this is quite fitted and you want it to be able to stretch to go over your neck but apart from that you can make it in most things and at the moment in the snow this is the perfect like base layer and I've worn it so much already, I'm, I'm definitely going to make another one. So I'd, if you're looking for something like a nice, quick, simple sew, this is a really nice one. And the cut on it is really great. Um, yeah, I'd highly recommend. So up next we have got, I don't usually do children's patterns, but this one was so cute, I couldn't resist. So this is called the Mini Collection from Pauline Alice. And anyone who doesn't know, she actually, well probably not so recently, semi-recently had, had a child, had a baby, and I think this is a product of, of that. Um, so it's a three-piece collection, and it's from three months to three years, and it's got a coat, a pair of dungarees, and a little sort of top. I love this. In fact, I actually want this all in my size. It is the cutest, cutest little set. So the coat is like, a sort of classic it's like it's got a hood um, poppers down the front it almost looks like the Kelly um, anorak the closet case files Kelly anorak but a more simple version um, I think it's got little raglan sleeves let's have a look yeah it's got raglan sleeves and it's got this really nice um, on the back detail on the back it's like a uh, I guess it's a storm flap um, obviously more of a design feature than a, like an essential. Um, little dungarees with poppers all up the inside. And then this little cute smock top with buttons down the, um, I think it's down the back. Yeah, buttons all the way down the back. And then it's got these really sweet little pockets at the side. But I just thought this was such a no nice like collection. I t totally think if you, I think you could buy this at three for your kid who's three months old, make it and then still be making it when they're three because they're such like classic pieces. I don't think you could get bored with them and you can make them in so many different fabrics. I just think it's a really great like little set. Um, it costs, how much does it cost? It's 17 pounds, which I think is pretty good for three patterns considering that one of them is a coat. 
and um, a quite a good age range as well, three to three months to three years. So you can probably get quite a lot of makes out of this one. But yeah, and all my friends with children, I'm thinking I kind of want to make them some cute little things. Probably won't, but you know, you know, the intention is there. <laughs> um, right, so that is my second one, and I thought that was really nice. The next one I have got um, is the gathered dress from the Avid Seamstress. So she is a U if you haven't come across her yet um she is a uk based pattern designer um she has got i think six patterns and um yeah she does really nice she kind of does simple really well and i picked this dress because i thought this was quite interesting in terms of the cut and i think also it's a nice simple make so if you are um kind of in the beginner range and you want to try something a bit different I think this dress could be really nice so it's the gathered it's called the gather dress if I didn't say that before yeah I did say that um so what is interesting about it it is quite a simple shift shape it's got raglan sleeves um so that means it's really easy they're really easy to put in it's got inseam pockets because all dresses should have pockets that should be mandatory and um, the back is kind of where all the interest is. So it's got, um, it's quite simple at the top of the back bodice and then it's got a gathered, it's gathered around the waistband but just at the back. And I think that's quite a cool detail. So kind of everything's, all the kind of stuff's going on behind. Anyone who has got a biggish bottom and can't wear shift dresses, this is a shape for you because I, I, this I'm talking about this because this is something that I find I can't wear shift dresses because my bottom is always too big and it pulls around my thighs and it just doesn't work so this is absolutely perfect anyone who has got a bigger bottom a Kim Kardashian bottom going on this is the shape for you so the gathering around the waist means that there's more fabric at the back which means there's more space for it to go over your bottom and I think anyone who's pear shaped as well, this is a really great shape pattern. I just think it's really nice and quite interesting and the you could totally make this at any level. So I think it's, yeah, it's kind of a simple make. I guess the thing that you're really going to have to concentrate on is making sure the fit is good. But once you've got that nailed, I think you'll be whipping these up in loads of different colours. So I think it's a really great, like, basic pattern and I think lots of people would kind of look great in this shape I actually think most body shapes would look really nice in this pattern so yeah I think that's a cracker so next we have got um the Claudia dress from Tassuti um, fabrics now I know anyone who lives in the UK that it is snowing and it's freezing this week but this pattern was so good I couldn't leave it off so this is anyone who was around and a teenager in the 90s late 90s early 2000s this dress was like the dress shape that you wore so I feel like it's come back round um quite a simple strappy summer dress um quite loose fitting it's got little bust starts um thin little straps and it kind of cuts in so it's a really I think whatever however you feel about your arms anything that cuts in like this is actually quite flattering because it's not it kind of creates space between this part of your arm and this it it kind of creates a bit of an illusion and it's much more flattering um it's got inseam pockets which obviously as i said great and it's got slits at the side um the back is is cut kind of straight across just above the bra line and I think this is a really lovely, lovely dress. Um, they've made it in linen, which I think is just like the dream for this shape. And I just think it's really nice. The other thing I was thinking is that you could totally whip this up in spring and wear actually like the Nico top underneath this with the dress over the top and that would look really cute as well. Look like kind of like a pinafore look. I just love Tassuti patterns. They're one of my, I just think they do really nice sort of chic shapes. And I think this one is a really nice one. So anyone who's got warm weather, please can you make this for all the people who are freezing this week? Um, yeah, so that's a classic, a classic one. I'm definitely gonna whip this up this summer. Up next, we have got the Avery leggings from Closet, no, I was about to say Closet Case Patterns, from Helen's Closet. So 
I picked these because I know there are quite a few, um, oh sorry, that is my, that's my phone tapping. Um, I know there are quite a few legging patterns but I actually really like this one. I was looking at all the details on it and I think this one is different from the rest and actually got quite a lot of good features that I think you guys would like. So first things first, it doesn't have a seam on the outside of your leg which is great because it means that it, well, it's just one, less sewing to do for you, two, it's much more comfortable, it creates, you know, you don't have this line down the side of your leg which is nice. Um, the other thing that it's got which I think is really great is it's got a gusset in the crotch. So this means that you're going to be able, it just helps, especially if you do, if you're doing like active wear or anything like that, using it, wearing it when you're doing your sport or whatever, it, 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 the gusset is there so that it helps you have more movement and um, I thought that was a really clever thing to put in and quite a lot of leggings don't have that so I think that's a really good thing. The other thing is that it comes in two waist heights so there's a standard waist height and an extra high waist height. I personally with leggings and anything like that really like it to be as high up as possible because I just it, it feels safer it feels nicer they're not going to roll down when you're um, when you're doing exercise and I think the thing I like about this is I think you could totally whip this up as and wear it when you do exercise but I think actually it's a really nice piece to have you know for when you're at home it's a quite a nice layering option and um, yeah I really like Helen's closet I really like her patterns I think she's doing like really good basics really well and also for the curvier person which I'm always down with because as a curvy girl myself it's nice to see all the patterns on someone with you know with hips and bottoms and all the rest of it so yeah I really like this one and I think this is a really good one. So we are on our last pattern of the month so this is probably my only slightly slightly harder one so this is a brand new pattern company called Emerald Erin and I'm going to talk to you about the Geordie Bralette. So it's a little bra pat little, it's a bra pattern. Um, I just really liked the, I just liked the style of it, I thought it was really nice. So the nice thing about a bralette is it doesn't have any underwiring which means it's easier to make. Um, I'm going to show you the different options. So she's made one in a really nice sort of jersey, which I thought was would be perfect for like at home. But she's also made this beautiful one with um, a lace overlay. And I just think this is a really nice pattern. I think it's really chic. And I think you could totally whip a load of these up. Um, I've seen lots of good things about them online so far. And um, I just, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, although, because I'm quite, I have a biggish bust. I'm kind of moving away from the underwire. I quite like the idea of having something that isn't kind of so rigid all the time. So I think this is a really nice little pattern. So the pattern, let me just pull up the line drawing. So it's got um it's got a seam down the front of the um cup. Um it's got two straps and then it's got a band round round the bottom. So actually, in terms of construction, it's quite simple. Um, it's just obviously making sure that the fit is right. Um, I just thought this was a really nice one, and it's a new. She's a new person, and I thought it's nice to share some new people out there. Um, yeah, so go and check her out. I can't remember if I said so. I will definitely pop links down below to the patterns mentioned in the video. I will also pop a link to our blog post with everything for the month because there's lots more that I can't talk about. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back soon with another video. Everyone in the UK, stay warm. And everyone who has got sunshine and sun, please will you make me make the Claudia dress from Tassuti Fabrics for me. Bye.